All right, what's happening everybody? I am back and it's been a while since I've made a Suburban install video. I still have the car and I'm still working on it, but it is mainly a wintertime vehicle for me. So in the summertime, I haven't been working on it that much and I apologize, it's been a while. But today it's time to continue on. I've got a couple things coming up. First, as you can probably see behind me, it's time to upgrade my electrical system because the Optima battery that I have in there is on its way out. It's been around many years, not knocking Optima, but it's time to upgrade, it's time to replace it because it's getting old, I'm having headlight dimming issues, I can see the voltage gauge go every time the base hits, so it's time to upgrade the electrical system. What I have on tap here, is an XS Power D3400. I'm going to install two of these in the car and upgrade the alternator, but that's not what this video is about. Today, I finally have the front stage installed, so let's go talk about that. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Finally got the Focal Polyglass six and a half inch component set installed in the QLogic kick panel enclosures. These angle up at you as you can see compared to where the factory speaker and factory tweeter are. These are a little bit more uh, angled up at you. They image a lot better and they sound just crystal clear. So the first thing that I had to do when installing these was I had to put the speakers into the panels. That involved cutting out holes. First thing I did was I drilled a hole and then I used a coping saw. I didn't use other than the, the drill, I didn't use any power tools, so I used a coping saw and I cut around where the hole was. Next thing I did was I used a file. And I used the file to file it down big enough, just big enough for the speaker could fit in there. Then I drilled some holes to mount the speakers. I put Dynamat all on the back side. And then I drilled a, a hole per, a perfect size to fit the tweeter in. Next thing I did was I wired everything up and I installed the panels into the vehicle. Put uh, a little bit of polyfill inside here as well as uh, a bunch of dynamite on the panel and the metal that's behind the panel. So the third step, and this is what we're going to do today, is we're going to tune the speakers and get them sounding pretty good. As good as we can without a DSP anyway. Let's go ahead and open up this excess power box and take a look at the battery. I opted for the model that came with the top post adapters. See, there's just a piece of styrofoam. Make sure nothing is damaged from shipment. Right, on first glance, it appears to be looking okay. There we are, 12.7 volts. Now if we go over to the Optima, we're at 12.26 volts. 
So the install where we take out the excess power in the front and we put a second one in the back is coming up soon. Go ahead and subscribe for that, but for now let's get on with the speaker tune. Now in order to tune this speaker properly, the best thing I could do would be to put in a digital signal processor and I think that's coming up because they're coming down in price. So I think uh, coming up in the future, I'm going to put a digital signal processor in there, but I'm going to tune the system the best I can with what I have. The head unit has its own internal equalizer. In addition to that, the subwoofer amplifier has a parametric equalizer. So between both of those, I can use both my ear and I'm going to use an RTA microphone to help tune it. With this microphone, I can get the system pretty well tuned without a fancy RTA because this works with an app that I have on my smartphone and it's a very budget way to tune your system. Hello, 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 hello. So this allows me to put on a pink noise and I can go ahead and try to get that as flat as I can by adjusting the equalizer on the uh, head unit and the parametric equalizer that's on the bass amp. So let's go ahead and take care of that. But first, let's get out the SMD DD1 and set the gain properly. All right, here we are. First step in tuning everything. Let's get the gain set right. I have several videos where I've shown how to use this thing. It's very, very straightforward. Let's go ahead and get the test tones playing and uh, see where our distortion points are at. All right, now, I went ahead, I set the gain with the SMD DD1 on both amplifiers. Like I said, I've done that in plenty of other videos, so if you want to see, check my other videos and you can see exactly how to do that, the whole process. Now, the next step is to try and tune the crossover points and then we're going to go after the equalizer. Track 9 on the SMD DD1 track is a pink noise. You can also use a signal generator app on your cell phone. Okay, so the EQ setting is on flat. right around where the tip of this peak is, 250. And let's turn it down a little bit. Now the best thing you can do when tuning an equalizer is to go through and turn down all the high spots. Except for, this is only a cheap 7 band equalizer that comes with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the 800 hertz, just a couple notches, and we'll see what it, uh, we'll see what it sounds like once I get it to music. I might be turning that back down. I'm at 8 kilohertz now and I'm trying to take down this peak just a little bit. That's around the center frequency of the tweeter. Now let's roll up the subwoofer. I'm going to leave the 80 hertz alone because I have a parametric equalizer on the amp and we'll go ahead and set that in order to take care of our bass. Center frequency appears to be right around 60 hertz. So let's go back and play with the parametric equalizer and see if I can't get that to drop just a little bit. All right. To put the frequency just under 60, cut it just a tad and see what happens on the RT. All right, we got it looking about as flat as I think I'm going to be able to get it. Now, let's turn it on with music and see how it sounds. Just have the iPod on shuffle, we'll see what pops up. So Portis head. Yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain. 
folks falling like rain. Probably they got me selling things. Guess I'm gonna explain. Jane is rolled up, no gang speech rolled Turn down, I got neighbors. Well, I can tell just from my ear, I think it's a little high right in here. And the bass just isn't enough. So I'm gonna get rid of that cut on the parametric and we'll see what it sounds like with music. The subwoofer all the way down. There's a song with some bass. Let's see what happens. All right, so playing around a little bit with the RTA, and by the way, this is a cheap one and uh playing around with just what i can hear from my ear i got it tuned a little bit better playing around with equalizer in here and the parametric equalizer set the gains with the dd1 and these are some good sounding speakers so coming up in a later video we'll do some demos and we're going to do some not rap demos because it's very common on youtube for you to see rap demos and, and you see the uh the, the subwoofer moving around and it, it makes for, for some very good flashy videos but what really makes a good audio system is how good music sounds. It's being in a game called the Disciples High on Crack to the Machine Gun. Because I drive around and I like to listen to good music, and I want it sounding as tip top as I possibly can. So Let's do some non-wrap demos and we're gonna hook up that battery, the excess power battery, and then we're gonna, eventually we're gonna put in a bigger alternator. And then we still have coming up, we're gonna double up on the 15. So please subscribe if you're not already and uh, hit that like button. Thanks and I'll see you next time.